Hello and welcome everyone. This is Tyler G of Batman Figs on Instagram. Also co-host of DC Figures and Collectibles, which is a podcast on all things toy, statues, collectibles. And we also cover DC media. Uh, we, I'm talking about my co-host Scott of at the dot bat fan. And I'll leave a link to all that stuff below. But right now we're going to do another um, Batman the Animated Series versus the new Batman Adventure Series comparison in terms of figures from DC Collectibles or DC Direct as they've changed their name back uh, to what they used to be, DC Direct. And today we're looking at Robin, but there's been a few different Robins. And not only is there a few different Robins that you can see in front of you, or former Robins, but uh, the BTAS figure is outnumbered three to one in terms of new Batman Adventure figures as well. But first we're gonna look at Robin, the original Dick Grayson. Here's the accessories he comes with. You can see it's been worn over time. Hopefully this is just hot glue and it can come off. Oh, there's a little paint wear. Luckily they're re-releasing this guy. But as you can see, he comes with one, two, three, four, five, six hands in total. Seven with the grapple gun, a grapple gun, a boyo whip, I think it's called. Could be messing that up completely. And a different cape because one has both off the shoulder and one has a shoulder hanging over. And that's more uh, to what he looked like in the show more often than not. Now. In terms of articulation, he is, sorry Carrie, he's done very well. He has ankle pivot, he has boot cut, decent, more hot glue from pictures past. Oh, that's from the uh, Robin's Reckoning, the trapeze. <laughs> so that's how much he can move his knee, back, his legs could go back pretty far. He could do the splits. Decent amount. He has glove rotation. His arms can, or his wrist can rotate and has a hinge. Single joint elbow. He has rotation. Oh, he doesn't. <laughs> rotation at the elbow, of course. And uh, his arms can go up about that much. Or that's as much as I'm willing to do it. I don't want to break it right now. Even though we are getting a new one. He has rotation at the waist. His head can look up. Look down. Can move all over the place. One thing that I really don't like is that we didn't get an extra head sculpt. Because, I mean, there are some episodes where, believe it or not, he's not smiling all the time. Especially in Robin's Reckoning. So it would be nice to have a little bit more serious face on him. But what can you do? I'm happy that we are getting a new one because I can see <laughs> a lot of my stuff is starting to get worn. Because I think this is released back in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. And they have released different versions along with uh, like the Bat Signal and the Batmobile with Batman in different two packs and that sort of diff those variations. So next we're going to look at what he grows up to be. Nightwing. And this one is also an early figure, so it was done really well. Even though he has tiny little feet, they do have hinges. And they could, of course, move up and down. Single knee. He can move like that far back. That far forward. You can do the splits better with age. Even above 90, it's, that's... Tell Jean-Claude Van Damme to do that. Yeah, this waist rotation. His arms should go up that much. He go past 90 with his arm. Rotates as well. Hinge wrist and they move. And he can look down a decent amount up, but the mullet gets in the way. And he can rotate his head around, even with the mullet. His accessories besides just himself he comes with six hands eight in total a nightwing 
night wingering. I don't know what you call it. Uh, but he also came with binoculars, like from the episode You Scratch My Back. And I lost them. Sorry. Can't show you. I know it sucks for me more than it sucks for you. But I lost them. And then, uh, in order, of, well, not in order of appearance because we see him actually before we see Nightwing. Technically. We're going to talk about Tim Drake. My favorite Robin. And, uh, in terms of accessories, he actually comes with a decent amount. So, he comes with really cool, and you could use them on the figures with the way they have the hands able to pop off and back on. He has some handcuffs, and these are seen, he uses them in uh, Old Wounds. When he, uh, yeah, I think that's what it's called, Old Wounds, where he talks to Nightwing about how he became Nightwing. He comes with a new Bevan Adventure grappling gun. By itself, he comes with the ability to have the hand already holding it, and all of them pop off. Here, I'll show you. I got you here. I gotta show you. See, pops off, pops, pops right back on. So you could you could use it for a bunch of different things. He comes with one, two, three, four, five, six hands in total. And uh, the only thing that I did lose about with him. Is this tiny battery because it's so small. I think I lost it outside fairly early on. Hopefully they re-release him. <laughs> and now we have Carrie Kelly. She came not in a solo release. Oh wait, I forgot to do Tim's articulation. He's an early release too. So he has the ability, his little feet have the ability to move up and down and they can rotate. He has boot cut, single joint knee that goes up that much. He could kick his leg back that much. Kick forward that much. His arms only go up that much, but you could of course rotate him up. He has hinge at the elbow, single joint elbow, hinge wrist, and they could rotate. He does not have glove, glove rotation, however. And he could rotate at the waist. And I think, uh, yeah, his head broke too, doing different things. <laughs> I, oh, I think I was gonna do a uh, little a Mr. J, or no, a Joker Jr. custom, and it didn't work out. Anyway, now we're gonna go to Carrie Kelly. And she came in a three pack with the uh, Legends of the Dark Knight, Dark Knight Returns Batman, and the Mutant Leader figure, which they're, they're all great and must-haves. And this is exactly how she looks in the episode, and it's also a lot like the how she, you see her in the Dark Knight Returns comic. Her one accessory outside of extra hands is the slingshot, and she comes with six hands in total for extra. To prove it, there they are. Okay. Articulation, she could only move up and down on her feet. Single joint leg. And you can't even rotate the feet, so that's all you get. You have to have them right there. <laughs> can't rotate the ankle at all. She could do the splits a decent amount, but this kind of gets in the way, the robin skirt. If that's what you call it. The arms go up that much. She has the ability to rotate at the elbow and single joint, hinged wrist, and they rotate. Her head could look down, can look up. She could rotate all the way around. And the one thing I really do like is the, the fact that you can see her eyes, if it focuses, <laughs> that you can see her eyes through the glasses, so that's cool. And a classic all yellow cape. And that's, uh, that's all the Robins. Uh, in terms of articulation, they all have really, in terms of the original three Robins anyway, they all have really good articulation, and they all have the ankle pivot. The only one that doesn't have that ability is Carrie Kelly. Um, in terms of accessories, I would say Tim Drake has the coolest, just with the handcuffs as well as uh, all his normal stuff. 
I guess, well, I have a bunch of different binoculars. Otherwise, I would be upset that I lost Nightwings. Um, overall, I, in terms of just what looks the coolest to me, I think the Carrie Kelly design is just really cool overall. And looks exactly how it would, not only in the episode, but in the comic as well. So just a per perfect representation. Uh, I would say the classic BTS Robin would be cool if he wasn't smiling all the time. And overall, I love them all. You gotta have these guys. It's Bat Family. So, if you want to see more pictures of them, you could check it out at my Instagram link below. Batman Figs. Batman F-I-G-S. And now that we're getting into uh, more of the, uh, the main Batman family... There's going to be a lot more releases because, like I said, with Robin, they, they released so many different versions of him. I just haven't bought them <laughs> or else I would have like 20 different versions of Batman of two or as well because of all the two packs. So with Batman alone, I got like four or five different versions of him <laughs> with all the accessories, different capes, uh, Batgirls come in as well. You got, we got a lot. Catwoman, so Mr. Freeze. There's still plenty to come, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you want to see past videos, just scroll down to uh, my page. Subscribe, like, share.